Hello everybody. Hey, I want you to take 10 minutes and grab yourself a cup of coffee here and watch this video. Hopefully you can find something entertaining, informational, and maybe enlightening. Hey, good morning everybody. And yeah, let's talk Jeep. Hey, uh, I just got a message. I put a video on here. It just came up this morning, I think. I'm going to fire this one on there right now. Because I got some questions asked to me. I do answer these questions later uh, in a video. But I'm going to go ahead and put a short one on here and tell you a little bit what he wanted to know. What we're working on is this Jeep. And we're going to flat tow this Jeep. And he wanted to know how to do so because he's never flat towed his Jeep because he has a tow dolly. That's old Black Widow. Good follower. He always gives me good situ good uh, information. Let's get in here. Have to use a trouble light so you can see. Because it's still in the, I think it's in the 30s today, 31. But anyway, what we're gonna, I'm going to show you how we do this. He asked me, what do you do about the locking steering wheel when you're flat towing on this Jeep? Well, this is a 2016 Jeep. 2013 Jeep. I keep saying 16. But it's a 2013 Jeep Sport. Well, guess what? Yep. The steering wheel doesn't lock. So, uh, I don't have to worry about that. There's not even a locking mechanism on it. That's if you see. So, you don't have to do that. And you wouldn't want... Then he asked about the battery. Oh, okay, get a light there. He asked about the battery. Do I do disconnect the battery? No, because you're going to see later on that uh, as soon as I figure out how to open this thing, there we go, if we can find it in here. Anyway, there's an electric cord in there that uh, has to hook up to your brake controller. Now, any vehicle over 2,000 pounds in America that you're towing is supposed to have a brake system on it. Just about every state. Some the, the states are different in weight. But this I got this down to four thousand pounds and it is it's going to it's gonna need that uh, brake system. So we got one that I'll show you how we install that on here later also. Uh, so you need the brake system and the brake system needs electricity. Now so you can't unhook your battery. But you'll see a little trick that I did because this the brake goes on and off every time you hit the, the brake in your RV or your tow vehicle, whatever you're towing it with. Yeah, the brake will go off and on. Well, yeah. So you got to have electricity to do that. And sooner or later, you keep hitting the brakes, you're going to take the battery juice right down. So you're going to want to watch that video later. I show, I'm going to show you how to solve that problem. And now I'm, I'm going to show you how to flat tow this thing. you got to have a tow bar. And what you do here on your, your uh, shifter is uh, you got to put that in neutral so you can pull this down into neutral. Sometimes you can do it in another gear too, but anyway, that's got to be in neutral however you want to, however you got to do it. You got to put this, got to get that one in neutral. This is your four wheel drive in and out. I don't have the key and I don't want to mess with it. Just put this in neutral. You got four uh you got two high four high neutral and then you got uh four low or so you want to go to four low click it one up make sure it's in neutral let me say that again make sure that's in neutral before you tow you will really regret everything you do if you leave that in a your transfer case in gear put it in neutral okay now then Take this, you've already got it in neutral or whatever, put it in park. You leave this in park while you're towing. You leave this one in neutral while you're towing. You have your brake hooked up, uh, whatever kind of brake system you want. They make all kinds of them, Blue Ox, Roadmaster, many, many kinds. The best one to get is the one that's on sale, as long as it's got good reviews. So, that's how that all works there, Black Widow. I uh, hope that helps you out. Keep your battery plugged in. You need it plugged in for your brake system. Uh, tow it with that in neutral, and you don't have a 
key lock to worry about. That's what I liked about the Jeep. So I hope this helps the rest of you out too. I'm going to fire it on right now. Subscribe. Oh, hey, check out my new thing down here. It's a wish list. list. Uh, I've had a couple of people buy a few things off of it and send it to me. A couple of them are on the way now. So anyway, take a look at them and we'll see you later. Bye. So how did I get so smart when I don't know nothing about Jeeps? Well, I read that little thing, uh, what is it called? Owner's manual, it's in the glove box, and that's exactly what it says. So read yours before you do anything. I'm not that smart about Jeeps yet. <laughs>